I think it's going to be big. I kept on doing it. I'm doing more of it. So I went into the filmmaking world. There's a lot of opportunity in the space. Hello guys, how are you doing today? It's Tayo I know here again. In 2018, Tayo has zero to no following on any social media platforms. Fast forward to 2021 and he has been able to go from having zero social media present, zero prior video editing or YouTube experience to now having over 290,000 YouTube subscribers and 27 million views. He achieved this completely organically starting from scratch. Tayo is on a mission to rediscover the beauty of Africa by showcasing places in Africa in a very good light. Tayo is also on a mission to encourage and educate upcoming African content creators using various online resources. It's really a great privilege to connect with Tayo virtually to discuss Africa digital creator economy and the newly launched Tayo I Know YouTube Academy. Content creation in Africa is kind of like a, a, a green space, like um, con creator economy. So, which means that you know there are still a lot of opportunity. Um, so, do you agree with that? And also, um, in terms of like the future of uh, content creation in Africa, the creator economy, um, what, what do you think the future uh, look like? I think it's going to be big. It's definitely mm -hmm. looking like it's going to be definitely big. There's still so much opportunity in the space. That as much as it might seem like we have a lot of YouTubers or we have a lot of people who are creating, because I don't even see creation as only YouTubers. I see people, anybody who creates anything, any digital product is a creator. And even apart from that, even physical products, so anybody who creates physical products are creators. So there's, there's a lot of opportunity in the space because there's still a lot of things. There's too many stories that have not been told. There are still a lot of places in Africa that have not been discovered yet. Mm. There are still so many ideas and so many business opportunities that people have not really taken advantage of. Like, and now we are we are rapidly moving into the, into the digital age. Just before this call, now I was I was on the call with some of my friends, and they are also going into like the the NFT space, the the metaverse. That's like when Facebook changed their name to Meta, mm. there's a lot of things that are happening. And being a creator now is is it's it's an amazing space to be because there's the potential is limitless mm. and the future keeps changing so if you're a creator and you're in this current space that we are now just know that like the potential is limitless there's so much that is going to happen mm. in the future all right thanks for that um people, something that people do say as well is that i've had people say is that oh go and get a job go and look for a real job um what are you doing <laughs> uh this is not a real job but actually they a lot of them i do believe they miss the point that you know this is real job um so because i believe content creators are kind of like um um making a lot of impact in the society not only in africa but we're talking about africa now um so Taya, um i would like you to talk to that in terms of like what are the impact you think um content creators in africa are making yeah i think a lot of content creators are making like a lot of impact because before we started making this type of content in about africa there were many of these places people people had their own preconceived notions about these places and all they saw was what like the media reported to them but then having people like us that they've been following for a while and that they know and that they trust going to these places and giving them like showing them that okay this place might not be as dangerous as reported or this place is even more beautiful than reported and even just going to multiple multiple countries there are so many countries now that i and a, a couple of my other colleagues have been to that i never knew i never knew what it was like i never knew what was there like i don't know what congo looks like i don't know what some other countries look like even up to now but by the time we started traveling to some of all these places and making videos about them then it's just sort of give it like a positive light. It sort of showed people like, oh, there's this, there's this place in Africa. You can go there and go and explore it. There's this place you can go for vacation. You don't necessarily have to leave Africa before you can, if you're looking for somewhere beautiful, like Africa is beautiful. There are places to go in Africa. There are things to do. Different countries in Africa, they all have something to offer. And even apart from just showing places, also meeting people, people have built businesses in in different countries in Africa, you know, it just shows that, okay, it shows people that are coming that, okay, it's possible. Like, it even gives a lot of people ideas of what they can do. Like, 
when you meet all these business people who have done it in those African countries and you talk to them, it gives people ideas that, oh, okay, this guy can do it in Tanzania. Oh, I can do this in Nigeria. Oh, this guy did this in Kenya. I can do it in, um, in, in Ethiopia or something. So it just opens up stories that were never been told. And I think that's, that's a big impact. Also, uh, lastly, a lot of uh, Africans in the diaspora who are who they may not really be enjoying where they are and they are looking for opportunities back home. Mm. Doing all these stories and, and shining a light on all these places and stories just makes people know that, oh, like it's possible, like I can move back home and actually make something happen. Wow, wow. So, yeah, so that's really great. I've been, uh, um, content creators in Africa are definitely doing um, a, a, a great job. And um, I mean, personally, I've, I've followed your your content for, for a long time and um i always like oh wow all these places and a lot of them even it's not it, it even goes to um kind of like um history almost like education i think i left one of the comments i left on your channel before was about the father you know if you somebody like you you are in a kind of like education environment uh, institution or something like that you possibly will be like associate professor or a professor something like that because of the <laughs> real education um that, that you bring um into something that always uh, comes to my mind every time i watch your video is that oh, wow this uh, is something else and um so you haven't you didn't come to the world with all of those skills so you acquired them as you, as you as you mentioned <laughs> so and i always thought like oh this guy can't just keep all this to himself he really need to um he really need to put something together so do you mind to talk about um your your academy so you have this uh, new yeah 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 thanks a lot for 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 joining the live and also like watching the videos and also commenting um so the the the, the, the academy has it has been in my mind for a very long time like just finding a way to you know i see a lot of creators like when i started making videos like for the for the couple years i've been making videos and they always asking me a lot of questions about youtube like what do you want to get started on youtube and then the, the more i grew the more of those questions i got so it has been at the back of my mind since like early last year before corona even started that uh, i need to create something where i just like everything i've learned from being a creator in africa i should put it in a course and and put it out there for anybody who wants to learn so and also because in africa there's no there hasn't been anybody who has really created any youtube course or any how to go on youtube so there's really nobody you know there are americans there are people in the uk creating courses and stuff but building a business building a business or a company or whatever in africa is different from building it in the us yes like sure. totally different the landscape everything is different there so i was like okay there needs to be somebody who will document the process of starting to getting like from zero to hundred, there should be somebody who would do that. And then I looked around, there was nobody, so I decided to just be that person. And yeah, so that was it. And also to like, like the course was also to you know there are a lot of upcoming people who want to, they want to understand mm. how to do this thing. Yeah. They want to. There needs to be a push. They want to know that okay, this is someone, and they want to they want to hear it not just from any random person. They yeah. want to hear it from yeah, somebody that's been there. And done it. Someone has been there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I'm like, I'm always very skeptical about like courses, like making courses, because I'm like, mm, like, uh, I don't also want it to seem like, okay, I was trying to make money off people. But I realized that I had to just uh, look away from that and realize that what I'm trying to make now, if somebody made it for me yeah. two years ago or three years ago when I started, yeah, your journey would be faster. Fine. Yeah. Mm. It's like my journey would have been faster. I wouldn't have made most of the mistakes I made because I've made so many mistakes over my journey. I'm still making mistakes. I'll still make mistakes in the future. And I'm learning because you, you never know anything fully. Every day we are all living and learning. So yeah. I thought about it that if I had known, like if I had, had access to this information, my journey would have been faster. I would have known what I wanted to do and how to go about it straight mm. right off the bat. So that's why I decided to create it and to make it easier for a lot of people like it's not like maybe when you take the course automatically you will just suddenly have one 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 hundred thousand subscribers because you need to do <laughs> the work but it's just like a roadmap it's like a diet it's like guiding you like okay do this yeah. don't do this do this don't do this it makes you get to where you're going to faster so yeah that's that's yeah that's that's why I, that I mean any, anyone that is um anyone that's interested in um starting a youtube channel or somebody 
that is already doing it and struggling, I would definitely recommend um, your your course because I know you've read and um, it was in the, um, the 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 kind of like uh, the outline of the course. I mean, it's really loaded with a lot of a lot of um, information. So because if you have to go online and randomly looking for this form information that I want and that one, you kind yeah. of get lost. So, but if you yeah. are in a mm-hmm. kind of like a a, a library that have the catalog step by step what's up guys and welcome to module six of this and, um, yeah so i would definitely recommend <laughs> your course to anyone so and then i'll actually put a link in the in the description um of this video oh thank you yeah, for anyone that yeah that thank, wants thank you very much and also it. and also there's there's a discount because i as i dropped it i also put like a discount for the first hundred students so there are still some slots left. So anybody who is getting it now will get hundred dollar off. So they'll yeah. get it at half price, more or less. Now before it, yeah. it uh, it's just yeah. it's just like an added advantage. It just also help people. Like okay, I know there are a lot of people out there who might like we're in Africa. Not everybody has that amount, which is one ninety nine dollars to pay for a course. Yeah. So I put it at a discount, at least for the first hundred people who are gonna sign up. So. Mm-hmm. The discount still applies to so anybody who is interested mm. of our valid while stocks last. <laughs> so another question that I actually have is that um, you know there's a study in the UK and I think in America as well that um, kind of ask uh, children and ask them uh, what would they like to you know that kind of like oh, what would you like to uh, become when you grow up and yeah. uh, it's really amazing that you know that study came back to say that you know, a lot of children actually want to be um, a YouTuber or a vlogger, <laughs> almost like three times uh, more compared to being an astronaut. That is really fascinating. <laughs> that yeah. is fascinating. So, um, so it uh, that uh, sort of like question or a study like that is done in Africa space, um, be in Nigeria or Ghana or somewhere in Africa. What what do you think will be the response of the children? Do you think it will be the same? Well, I don't think it will be the same because here it's gradually changing, but it's gradually changing because I know that study was probably done in the UK or in the US. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. It was in Af- it was in Africa. It's it's I I think the next level of the next this generation is it Gen Z or the, I don't know what I'll call them the the ones that are coming up they got introduced to the internet faster than than us. Like they got introduced to the internet faster. So a lot of people are beginning to see the opportunities of being online. Like being an astronaut is like, yeah, it's, it's, I, I wanted to be an astronaut when I was younger too. I said that, I said I wanted to be an astronaut. But now looking at it, I don't think it doesn't look at something that advances me. I'd rather be somebody who is positioned for the digital age. So I think now everything is changing. So maybe in Africa, it might be less because also, not everybody is connected to the internet. Not every young person has access to the internet, but more people, more younger people have access to the internet than 10 years ago. Yeah. So there are many people yeah. are born into the digital age now. So we we'll start seeing that change happen gradually. More people will start saying they want to be creators, they want to be, they want to build softwares, they want to mm. be you know, YouTubers, they want to just be in that digital age. We we'll have more and, and secondly, also the future is digital. Like the future. Technology is rapidly changing everything. So, like being an astronaut is fine, but being put, positioning yourself for the next level of technology in terms of media, in terms of media or technology, positioning yourself to be part of those people there is, is also going to be the opportunities are limitless. Mm. I, I think I think um, yeah. Thanks for that. I think there's something that I was going to um, uh, had to dive into mind uh, is that. Um, almost like there's more options. So before it's going to yeah. be like everybody wants to be a medical doctor, everybody wants to be an engineer. But now there's yeah. that option to say that, you know, actually you can actually choose another path and which is what creator economy is, isn't it? So you're somebody that you just, you started with just your phone and just yeah. you know, taking photos around yeah. and then turn to like, you're now kind of like a, one of the biggest uh, name in African content creation space. Do you mind to talk to me about, well, talk to our viewers about um, some of the skills that you've acquired? So because a lot of people talk about, oh, they want to become a content creator maybe because of money or something, but they do forget that you get to pick up a lot of skills along the line and it's about what you become. 
So do you mind to talk about some of the skills that you've been able to acquire? Um, mm, so for me, it was more of like from from starting with my phone, then I started watching a lot of YouTube videos, trying to learn how to like make better content. And from there, I was watching a lot of filmmakers online and then I rented a camera and then started making videos. So it wasn't, I didn't really have any mindset of like, oh, YouTube, I want to do YouTube and like make money or build as a career. It was just like, oh, let me just do this. Oh, it looks cool. And then I was enjoying the process of doing it. Like the more I did it, the more I enjoyed it. So I kept on doing it and doing more of it. So the skills, some of the skills I've acquired is just like filming. So I went into the filmmaking world mm -hmm. and made videos for other people. And then use that money. I was making videos for that. They were paying me to fund my videos, to fund my own personal project, which were my YouTube videos. Maybe I want to go somewhere to film something. I film for people, they pay me, and I use that money to make the kind of videos me I wanted to make. Before I eventually switched to just making content alone. Like I don't like not making videos for people, but making if I'm making any video for anybody, it has to be my video, how I want it done. Mm. So most of the skills I learned were were majorly like from like filmmaking skills, um, mm. like also because being a content creator or being a YouTuber or being a filmmaker, you, you wear many hats. You are the producer, mm. you are the director, you are the one scripting, you are the one coming up with ideas. So it's it's just like being an entrepreneur. You wear so many hats, and it's like owning a media company too. Because every time you post a video, thousands of people are going to see it. So. Mm. So it's it's a lot of things. Yeah. It's a lot of things. It's just it's, it's a lot of things. Also, even knowing how to talk to brands, knowing how to communicate with clients and stuff. Yeah, it's, conversation skills. It's a whole yeah. lot. Mm. It's a whole right. lot. But, but those are some of the skills I've learned: filmmaking, scripting, mm. um, editing. Yeah, I mean, scripting writing. is like writing as well. So yeah, it's, it's like, like writing. writing. So so yeah, that's that's just it basically. And the more you do it, the better you get at. The yeah. better you, the better you get at it. But you have to do it over a long period of time before you start making any money. Yeah, that's that, that's a quote there. The more you do it, <laughs> the better you become. So something I've had um, a lot of uh, big content creators um, like yourself and a lot of other women in in Africa is that you know they do say that there are uh, it seems like a lot of people content creators in Africa are just doing the same thing like but. There are a lot of other opportunity, a lot of other niches or niche or whatever way to pronounce it that people haven't really um, get into as this, this space is still green. So do you mind to mention some of the areas um, that still need content creators in Africa that you know people are not already that this might actually help somebody um to so, so so there are many i totally agree with that there are so many areas that are, have still not been explored like you know like and i don't blame a lot of people too because when people want to go into something they also look at the people who are already doing it and they want to just copy or replicate the same thing that they're doing mm -hmm. so that they can also grow but there are still so many areas because the, 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 the niches of content in Africa is still so very small. And for you to, somebody, they have, they, new upcoming people need to look at ways of creating new niches. Because even these new these niches that we have now was created by, by the community, by a lot of people. Some people came up with ideas and then everybody else ran with mm. it. Some people started making some type of content, then it started working, then everybody saw that it was working, then they started doing the same type of content too. Mm. So. So there, there, there's there's still a lot of space. Uh, like there, there are documentary videos. I, I don't really see anybody who is like doing documentary type videos. There are not a lot of commentary, proper commentary channels. Mm. There are also not a lot of like gaming. Gaming is also big. Uh, I've not really seen anybody who has really taken advantage of the gaming mm. market yet. Um, even entertainment. Entertainment is not only just comedy and movies. There are different types of entertaining content that can be done online. So there are so many areas. There are so many areas. Because if you look at the US space, it's like, it's so big. There are people who, they, they have millions of subscribers and they just probably do something very basic. Some will yeah. review clothes, will review perfume. I know a doctor, a dentist that has 6 million subscribers yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. Just yeah. from talking about dental hygiene. When you look at it, dental hygiene is something everybody in the world everybody in the world needs <laughs> so so there's a lot of opportunity in that space there are too many even niches to even mention but 
for a lot of people who are upcoming who want to start making videos they should also look at exploring some of those niches me myself i'm also looking for new niches to break into it's just that for us is it's, it's way harder because we already have an established brand and something so if you yeah. make it content yeah. that is not that thing people might not watch it mm. so. yeah I, I mean, um, I, I totally agree with that, the fact that there are a lot of um, areas that hasn't been explored. I mean, I don't know, maybe you know, but um, there are kind of like you know, something they call uh, DIY, um, do it yourself. Yeah, DIY, yeah. So I, don't, do I don't think there is any, I don't think there are no, a lot of no, channels yeah, that do that. But, but also, you can also blame people too, because it's also not our, it's not our culture here to do things ourselves. Mm. If your if your fan spoils or your 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 socket spoils, <laughs> but you can't call somebody to do it for you. It's not, yeah. In the US, it's something that you just go. You even see a lot of Americans, their garage. You see them opening the car bonnet and fixing it themselves. Yeah, yeah. It's not yeah, some. That, I mean, we don't do that in Nigeria. Yeah. I mean, if, if anything, if anything breaking in my house, yeah. I'll, I'll be the one to fix it. I mean, when we move out, I mean, all the curtains and everything. I put all the curtains. Exactly, but but it's not like that in Nigeria. It's, it's not like that because people just call people for something. Oh, something's false. Okay, let me call this person. Oh, let me call this person. It's not our culture. So I don't know if people would want to watch DIY. I'm not sure. I don't know. I've not tested it, but it's possible. You know, when it's, you can't yeah, really I, say I mean, something. You know, so somebody, what, I mean, right? because nobody, if nobody is doing it, so one person that started doing it might. Yeah, one person can start something. it and see how yeah. it goes. Yeah. That, might, that might even be a very interesting way of like, mm. of doing stuff. That would, that would be cool to see, to watch. Okay. So I think we're almost done now. Uh, so if you are, uh, let's say you are uh, in a conference where all the African president, uh, president of all African nations are present and you are asked to kind of like um, give them some suggestion on, you know, development agenda of Africa or something. Oh, no, let me just say something that actually we help create of the, you are in the uh, creator economy space. So what what would your advice? Maybe one or two or three <laughs> advice. <laughs> so that will help creators in the creator space. So first of all is I, I think what will help creators in the creator space is also what will help Africans generally. It's not like our problems are even way bigger than just for the creators alone. Because everything impacts everybody. So one let me give you an example now. One of the problems we creators have, especially people who travel around a lot, is Traveling around Africa is very expensive. Like tra traveling from Lagos to Ghana, that is 45 minutes away, is $300 for one wow. way. If you're going and coming, that's $600 just from Lagos to Ghana. Mm. So stuff like that, like things like that, it's a general problem. It's expensive for us, but it's also expensive for every other person who travels too. Another one too can also be like uh, security. I can't go around, I can't go to all the places I want to go in Nigeria because or in, in, in some of them, even in some other countries, not just Nigeria alone, but I will say Nigeria because that's where I'm from. Because of security issues, I want to go to the north. I want to go and make videos. The north is very beautiful. I want to go to some parts of the east. I want to go, I want to go everywhere. But I can't go because of safety. So that's a that's a general problem. Because people also want to go. If there were if there was safety in Nigeria, more people would travel around. Then also, if we're talking about Nigeria too. Uh, I will just talk about Nigeria mostly because I don't really, I've not lived in other countries that much. So I don't really, I can't really speak for their problems that much. But Nigeria is where I'll talk about. Electricity too is also a problem. So I'll talk about that too. I'll talk about um, in the content space. Also like acknowledging and knowing that there are these people out there who are really doing the work, like supporting them. Like even if it's not support by money, but just by supporting them by maybe giving them access to stuff like maybe making them part of some something something government group mm -hmm. so that whenever they go somewhere to make a video or to promote somewhere they don't face problems from police because i've gotten i've gotten harassed by police and all yeah, those things so maybe there was a way we had some sort of identification that was like oh okay like oh, this person is a creator is trying to do stuff like for a price or something. <laughs> Even Ministry of Tourism, like I think that would even come up from the Ministry of Tourism of countries. Ministry of the ministers of tourism of many African countries. I don't think they understand the value of YouTubers, the value of travel creators. They don't know how that shapes the perception, the perception of people. Like a lot of places I travel to, a lot of places many people in the world travel to. Before they go there, they watch YouTube videos. 
to know to get to get yeah. ideas they, they yeah. go online that's where they go first yeah. everybody goes online yeah, now yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, I was in the plan. church sorry, sorry to stop you I, I, I was in sorry to interject i was in the church last sunday and the person that was preaching was actually talking about um something like that, and they mentioned youtube and say oh well i want to do whatever i go and ask google oh i just watch youtube for almost everything and then i was like wow so it's like you know that's an ordinary person everyday person to just choose you know mm. oh uh, yeah so 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 it's definitely changed so those are those are some of the those are some of the some of the things that i think can be done mm. that i think can be done yeah right um so i think we've finished now so i, I want to go back to your um academy so uh, a lot of people have um uh, calls and then they just throw it online and then people just pay money and then that's it off you go um so is there any uh, kind of like additional um support that you give to uh, people who uh, kind of like a sign up to 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 your course yeah there is actually because like for me it's not just like i don't just want i want everybody who comes as many people as possible i think the goal of a teacher is to have your students come back and be like oh like this thing i gained something from it like it made an impact in my life so for me, it's not just like the course alone. I also have like a four hour Zoom class, mm. like a Zoom session where like after going through the course, it's, it's going to be monthly for a period of time. So everybody who has gone through the course after that period, then with four hours in a month, we we all come together and then everybody like either talks about what they've learned or ask any questions that they, they're having problems with because everybody's problems is no matter how much you make a course it can't fit into everybody's because what everybody's yeah. doing is different they just give you the background information that you need to know like thumbnails titles all of that and what you need to know like the base information the foundation but then people might have individual problems that might not be that might not be clear because so we also have a four hour community zoom class where creators can also um talk to themselves because it's also it's different when you're learning in isolation and when you're learning together Mm. So creators can talk it's to like themselves on that. They can mm. ask questions. It's a community, right. and there's okay, strength well. in community. So this community is, is one of the biggest draws to joining the course because then you meet other people who are also learning how to do this thing alongside you. So it's more interesting than when you ask any learning in isolation. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's it. it. Mm. So the last question I will ask is: um, Do you think it's worth it to be a content creator? Definitely. Okay. <laughs> Definitely okay. worth it. Hundred percent. Okay. I think it's worth it. Right. Okay. So, is there any other thing that I haven't mentioned that you'd like to say, or maybe advice to upcoming? Um. Uh, so I'll just advise, okay. like as I always say, just just like speak your truth, go out there, whatever it is that you're passionate about, just go out there and like do it. If you're interested in, if you're interested, it doesn't even have to be content creation. If you have interest in something, just try it out. If it doesn't work, then you just move on to something else. But don't just have it in your mind and then you don't try doing it, pushing it out. Like many things me have done so far was just from, oh, I have interest in this, so let me try it out. Okay. So many of them, I've had so many failed businesses that never worked. I've had so many failed things I tried out that never I think, worked. I think you did, you had a video that you... you yeah, I had a video on that. So, yeah. so it's just trying out stuff. Like I am afraid of public speaking, but... I always knew I wanted to do like host like a meetup with YouTubers and I eventually did it and then I hosted it and then I I, yeah. I stood in front of people and I talked. Yeah. Like the course too is like something I'll be like, okay, will I be able to make this course? Because it was taking, it was way harder than I thought it was going to be to make. So, but now I've done it too. Like I've never done it before, but now I've done it. So it's just more of like anything you have interest in that you feel you want to do, just go out there and just mm. try it and do it. Don't just... Like don't just basically start before you are ready. I think that's what I that's what I would that's what I would say. Start before you are ready. Right. Thank you so much, Kevin. I can't really thank you enough. Um, I really really appreciate um, your your time. I know you're a busy man and um, uh, reaching out and you responded. Uh, I am really, really grateful, and I'm sure yeah, this thanks. is the video. Thanks for having me. Yeah, this is a video that really um, uh, loaded with a lot of information. And um, thank you so much, and God bless. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you very much.